in this video lecture we are going to discuss about MATLAB and Simulink integration with Code Composer Studio. MATLAB and Texas Instruments have uh, made a link for our Code Composer Studio by using MATLAB. So uh, in MATLAB we, we should have the uh, for a particular uh, micro, uh, micro this uh, DSP, we should have uh, IDE link so that we can uh, integrate our Symbolink and MATLAB with a Code Composer Studio. Uh, to making uh, the f uh, projects, to making applications by using Symbolink uh, and uh, integrate it with a uh, kit, it's very um, beneficial and it's a uh, it's a less time consuming. And uh, as a Symbolink has a very powerful uh, modeling. Uh, uh, toolboxes so it's a very uh, uh, interesting and uh, it's a very beneficial to use Simulink and Con Composer Studio so uh, but there are uh, limitations about uh, uh, the integration of Code Composer Studio with the Simulink for uh, now I can show you the uh, different uh, firstly you can see here in the video uh, in this uh, image that uh, firstly we have the MATLAB and Simulink then we can link uh, we have a link for the code composer studio that's the uh, software we can say the add-on with the MATLAB so that we can integrate our MATLAB with the code composer studio then after we have code composer studio and it has uh, all the uh, embedded uh, uh, all libraries and uh, supported libraries for that uh, I can show you the versions uh, uh, which version supports uh, uh, which MATLAB version supports the code composer studio so we can see here that uh, Code Composer Studio version 3.1 that's compatible with MATLAB 2007A or it's uh, it is also compatible with a less than version of this maybe 2006A B uh, but uh, higher than 2007A that is only supported by version 3.3 so in our kit uh, with our kit we have a 3.1 so uh, I have the MATLAB version two, uh, 2007A so in this uh, video, we are going to uh, discuss about uh, uh, integrating version 3.1 with MATLAB 2007A. So uh, uh, there are two things. We can also use our MATLAB uh, to uh, write the uh, to control our DSK kit, or we can also use the Simulink. So I will show you the both. I will uh, show you some of the commands that we can uh, use with the MATLAB to integrate it with the code composer studio or we'll make some uh, simple examples with a simulink and we'll use the uh, pre-made examples that are uh, examples that are already available on the simulink that will uh, show you so if you have to use the MATLAB and uh, code composer studio so firstly close the code composer studio and simply open MATLAB so I have clicked here on the MATLAB so now our MATLAB is open so make sure you have in connected your USB of the DSK with the laptop so now in the command line uh, we can check uh, whether we have the capabilities in the MATLAB to integrate it with the DSK or not so for that, uh, for that just write a command C6000 as we are going to use C6000 so write C6000 lib here then press enter so now we can see here that we have the libraries for C6000. We have the core support libraries. We have RTDX, uh, real time data exchange. We have target preferences. And we have uh, different boards that we can support uh, C6416, uh, C6711, C6713. For, for right now, uh, we have to take care of this board C6713, and uh, uh, we we have the we, we have the libraries for uh, six uh, these two also. But uh, we can uh, see here that we don't have uh, any libraries and uh, files for DSP BIOS, so uh, we cannot use DSP BIOS operating system with uh, our software. But uh, maybe in your software, uh, you can get it. So now, just close this screen. Uh, so now uh, just close the screen and uh, write in the command line uh, about CCS board info we want to know which board is connected to our uh, laptop just write CCS board info and press enter here so now it will connect uh, our MATLAB with the kit and it will see which board is connected to us and it will show here on the screen 
uh, about the uh, that kit now we can see that it's showing uh, that we have 66713DSK and processor num uh, it has to assign some names to the processors so it's a uh, it's assigning a number 0 and the processor name cpu uh, underscore run so uh, these two uh, are the simple uh, we can and uh, one thing if you want to know about the DSK we can just write CCS DSP and we can click on enter here so now we can see it's showing uh, some another things about the uh, our kit that uh, there are RTX channels and whether it's running or not or what's the board number processor number uh, and everything so uh, there are some another commands that we can use with the uh, MATLAB I can uh, uh, just uh, show you uh, we have to write just a CC or we can write some uh, so we can write some another commands uh, like uh, uh, I have already uh, some ex codes in here we can write this command we can uh, have some variable and uh, we can use this command ccsdsp board num and a processor num so we can uh, give the name to the uh, number to the processors uh, and the boards uh, that number should be uh, integer or positive integer and we are giving it a variable cu so now we can use our variable cu uh, to know about the uh, to work with the kit so we can just write here uh, about uh, uh, display dis play cu it's just displaying about the processor uh, and whether it's running or not whatever we have uh, uh, command used as a CCS DSP the same it's doing so we can write info about CU it can give us an info which is the family what is the subfamily uh, uh, so next uh, we can just check whether it's running or not is running is running CU if it's giving answer 0 that means the kit is not, not running now we can just write uh, uh, is RTDX is supportable or not? RTDX capable in CU? Yeah, answer yes, it's capable. So we can uh, write visible CU, comma one, so it will visible our Code Composer Studio here in the back, uh, in the front. So this is the Code Composer Studio. Yeah, that everything is being uh, this is being opened by the MATLAB so these are some uh, commands that we can execute um, with the MATLAB